So I'm going to invite up Scott Voos. Um, so you can start making your way up here if you'd like, and I'll just keep talking, brother. So Scott is a friend, and he's a neighbor half a block to our west in Sopo. Right? You can just come right up here. Sopo, south of points. Mm-hmm. Um, so his kids, Indian crew, do you guys mind just waving back there? You don't have to wave. Okay. They're shy. That's okay. They're TR teddy bears. That means they go to Theodore Roosevelt, right? They're teddy bears. Uh, I remember first meeting... The screen is good. I remember first meeting Scott. Uh, I believe it was at Radina's Bakehouse. I walked by. I'd seen him around a little bit. I saw him reading a book, Members of One Another, by Dennis McCallum. It's a book which I love, which made me intrigued. So I just was like, hey, uh, you're reading that book. Like, what's going on? And Radina's Bakehouse. Okay. I, I remember the table. And uh, then he began to share with me, I think, how you had come to faith and were uh, getting involved in a church and growing. So I was super excited about that. So I'm going to just uh, let him share. I'll ask him a couple questions about Be Able, and we can fill in any gaps. Okay. I'm not very good at this, so I asked Ben to kind of help me out here and be my sidekick. So here we go. Well, oh, there you go. Um, all right, so Scott, why don't you just tell us quickly, you know, well, it doesn't have to be quick. What is be able? All right, so that, that's a pretty big question, and I, I've been trying to think of the best way to answer this. Um, so be able has gone from a thought in, in my mind of almost the ultimate um, amount of hope in my life. Uh, being able to do something it encompasses almost everything. It's the opposite of uh, demoralization. It's the opposite of hopelessness. So being able to do something is life, is, is light. And I guess one of the reasons why I'm here and have been invited is because we have opened up a, uh, a storefront property downtown on 4th Street. And it's a place where ultimately uh, people can walk in the door and get a free cup of coffee and just have a place to, to go. Uh, there's a lot of people in our community, primarily and predominantly downtown, the city park areas, who you might have seen some of these people um, who aren't, uh, they're not doing much um, other than just being out in public. They don't have a place to go, perhaps. And this is a, is a home for them to go to. and. Um, just to, to be themselves during the day. And like I said, all that we offer, or the, the least that we offer is a free cup of coffee. So that in and of itself brings a lot of people into our doors. Cool. Um, I don't know if this is, were you gonna talk about some of the services and how they bring them all together? Sure, or? yeah. So um, beyond that, um, at Be Able, we, we uh, are open Monday through Friday, 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So we are what you can consider a drop-in day center where people can get, just go. We also offer um, educational classes on life skills, uh, basic um, financial planning, decision-making, uh, communication skills, um, resume building, employment uh, strategies, things like that. We also offer mentorship opportunities, um, small group opportunities. Ben has a has a really strong group of, of men who meet there uh, Friday mornings. And then there's also a Thursday women's group who meets there in the evenings. Um, and there's just a whole host of other opportunities. Um, uh, Mary and um, Taylor, is it Taylor? Have, have been in there uh, most recently to help us to incorporate some uh, art and crafting, which is not my skill set at all. Uh, so they've done a great job of, of introducing concepts related to art. Um, and then also, most, most definitely, we like to um, welcome all of the wonderful organizations in the area, Shepherds Crossing, Thrive, um, Fairy Godmothers, you name it. We've encouraged all of them to come into our uh, area and because um, one thing that we're good at is attracting a lot of the those individuals, we, we call them neighbors, we, we, we attract a lot of the neighbors who are taking advantage or need to know about how to tap into these resources. One of the uh, 
the ways I've described it, I don't know, is this still on or no? It, okay. When I've, when I've mentioned a people, Day center, like some sort of like emergency shelter, but yeah, but running into this, okay, COVID. Um, I've, I've talked about it as kind of like a Manhattan emergency shelter, but for the day only, but bringing all those resources together in a great ambiance. One of the reasons um, I use it on Friday mornings, it's for a group of guys that are all uh, gym members at Cons of Strength, is because the ambiance is great. It's, it's a wonderful space. Actually, our tall grass youth have begun using it on Sunday evenings too. So, be able and Scott's vision and availability of the space for exposure for others in the community to bless people has been pretty cool. All right. So, um, how how did be able get started? Maybe you've already answered that, but maybe you have more on that. Uh, it got started. I um, have a lot of um, work. I don't want to say work history, volunteer history with the local organizations. Um, First Presbyterian Church was my hometown church. I grew up there as well. And then I, I began to work in, in uh, the common table, which is a, a, a nightly meal. So I began to volunteer there. Uh, my kids, uh, I've, I've began to kind of urge them to, to, to keep going there and help out. Um, so doing that, and, and I would say predominantly, um, working um, in the, the mission work and ministry with First Presbyterian, I began to, to notice um, the amount of need, the amount of hurt, the amount of shame. You know, the things that weigh people down in our community is definitely uh, prevalent and out there. And I, I, I just kept seeing the same people over and over each night. And I... I, I, I have to say it was God that gave me this, this mission and, and compels me to, to do something about it. So this is that's kind of how I led to a, to a day center approach. This question wasn't one that I gave you, but um, so as I've seen, I've been down there and seen Scott interact with people and um, he really does bring, you know, first there's that proximity, but he brings a good presence to people, proactivity and, and the power that he has to, to help people. I'm curious how your faith in Christ uh, plays out there because it's not a it's not a, a church per se. It's working with all these other organizations. So, is that cool? Okay. So, I am not the I, I, I'm not a trained minister. I don't have the education per se, so I can't quote scripture all day long. I wish I could. I wish I had that ability to do that. So, I have to live out my faith through Christ by. Um, embodying and exuding uh, the love of Christ um, through me towards other people. So um, we early on adopted the phrase, uh, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Um, and we do that every day with whoever walks in our door. And it, that can be very tough, dependent on who, who we meet with and interact with. Um, there are some rough and tough individuals that are out there. Um, they, they not only uh, look rugged and tough. They, they might, there might be a smell as well, but also they could act tough towards us. And so it, it, there, there's, there's some heaviness and some, um, uh, there's some warfare going on for sure. So, um, I have to talk to God every day. Um, I have to discern, um, which is best. Do I, do I help out this individual, um, you know, go above and beyond in these situations? And that is an ongoing conversation that I have. But most certainly, it, it comes with the love and the compassion. When I, when I meet somebody, uh, every conversation is valuable. So th that's, that's, that's what I have to do. I bet you can quote more scripture than you think. And I have seen, they, they have scripture Bibles there, and it's been fun to be, be there and see them just opening up with people and taking them there as it comes up. Um, how has COVID, uh, COVID impacted Be Able? Well, yeah, um, every and every component, every aspect, for sure. Um, we were we were somewhat crazy to open up this operation. September first is when we opened, and to gather the infrastructure, the 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 players, our board members, you know, um, everything to get that going during COVID. I kept hitting brick walls left and right. Like you can't meet face to face. You you have to. You have to do these meetings via Zoom. So getting it started was a challenge, but most certainly um, 
opening the doors and offering a safe environment um, it has been incredibly challenging. And then also um, giving your time of day and showering uh, people with love and support all through a mask or um, being safe like that. It, it, so it, it affects the everyday social uh, relationship component, but also the ability to, to get um, the, the word out about what we're doing. You can't really go around and speak in front of a lot of crowds. It, we used to take that for granted, but you, you can't do that. So um, social media, um, we've had to really adapt how we gather um, our allies and promote what we're doing. Um, but you just you just have to be smart and precautious. Obviously, uh, you you you. I've kind of paid attention to how you've communicated your protocols and your adjustments, but you all have done a fantastic job. So that I guess I've borrowed a little bit from you, from here, from there, on how to do that. Yeah. Um, last question. Uh, how does it feel for you to be able to help someone at Be Able? So we're trying to help move our hearts as well uh, in that feeling of helping. But this is a tough question. Um, I've thought about how to answer this. And I'm a very in intuitive, feely person, um, but I guess it, for me, I, I'm very lucky, very blessed that I don't really feel. It, it's just natural for me. So I'm trying to come, up, come at it from a different mindset of those who don't have that, that right away. But like you, you're better at it than what you think too. Uh, seeing, you, you have to be aware with, with your eyes, with your ears, it, it, with who's in front of you. And you can see it, you can feel it when you, when you do make that impact, when, when you, you have helped somebody more than, than, than what they lead on. You can just tell. So I think it, it, it just takes the awareness of, of, of giving the person the time of the day. So for me, it, it feels, and when I do recognize that empathetically, I, I, I can feel it. It resonates deep within me. So it... Honestly, that, that's my job as a follower of Christ. I wouldn't have it any other way. So um, I don't want it, you know, I don't get a reward or, you know, a, a pin for, for helping the most people that day. Uh, but um, you, just, you just know that you've made an impact and you've, you've made the Lord happy. So that's how I approach it. Thanks so much, Scott. So, uh, oh, there we go. Stay up here, though. Um, yeah, I think maybe as, as we're in touch with our own great need and we feel the help that Christ offers will help us, you know, to reach out and feel the need that others have and reach that, that need. And um, I would love to pray for Scott and for Be Able. Uh, so we are uh, giving $500 for, uh, from our neighboring fund. Where'd that go, guys? Oh, oh it's right here. Lost the $500. Um, so we, we've been blessed, you know, through this pandemic to be able to do that and continue to do that and highlight and feature um, mostly local organizations, some that are national or international. And, and uh, f when you're down at 4th and Houston, uh, feel free to stop by. They're open 10 to 4, Monday through Friday. You could just poke, pop in and, and take a look around and chat with whoever's there. Marlon uh, Jackson's also there quite often. You guys have probably met him. He's involved in our church. And we'll see what happens with the overlap from our church and, and be able. So let me pray for, for Scott and be able. Father, thank you so much for, for Scott and his presence in our community, literally in, in our neighborhood, and also for be able's presence in our community in Manhattan, Kansas. I pray that that space would be divinely used for good in our community to help people uh, come out of darkness, brokenness, poverty, um, mental health issues, uh, addiction, sexual drug, and um, uh, alcohol ab abuse, and all these things, and to, to be able to not just get a little help for a day, um, that too, but to be able to um, walk the best way that you have in mind for them, and for people even to come to faith. I pray that churches and other organizations would rally around Scott and be able and invest deeply in this, this organization, and that we would be able to hear amazing things and be able to be a part of it. So we, we pray for Scott and his family to have a wonderful Christmas as well. Uh, Father, we love you so much. In Christ's name, 
Amen. So check out this man's uh, sweater. Ain't nothing but a Christmas party. Fits right in with the tall grass guy. So give it up for Scott Boost. That was great. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah.